So here's some footage of my first try with this pendulum setup. Uh, all I did was cut the top off of this water bottle and drill a two millimeter hole in the cap. And then you just fill it with whatever paint and let it swing. Um, it's not just a plain pendulum, it's a double pendulum. So there's, I didn't get a very good picture of it, but it's uh, a 1.1 meter pendulum connected to a 9.9 .9 meter pendulum. And at first I just used tempera paint and it was too thick so it didn't run. So then I did half water, half tempera paint and it made a huge mess. Then I made it uh, two to one tempera to water and you can see it's still sort of slopped around a little bit. This one here is five to one and uh, it's still glooping together too much. So once I finally got that dialed, uh, this trial was 10 to one tempera to water, so just a little bit of water. And you can see those lines are nice and clean. Um, and I was pretty happy with that. I ended up having to add a little bit of weight onto my pendulum, which you can see there, because as the paint runs out of the container, it loses weight. And so there's not as much uh, momentum in the system and it doesn't keep swinging for very long. Even this, I didn't have enough. This is only 50 grams. Eventually I went up to having 200 grams on there because I had so much paint in there that it was still running out and uh, it had run out of momentum. I didn't want to just dump all the paint in the bottom there. So I'm pretty happy with how these lines look, but I don't like how crazy this one turned out because uh, it's just it's just too chaotic. So this is the same mix of 10 to 1 tempura to water, and I moved all the weight to the very bottom of the bob, so that's 200 grams, because I was trying to lower the center of gravity because it's not moving in a very stable way. You can see the lines are kind of in the right pattern, but they aren't as regular as they should be. It looks like they're coming through sort of wavy, uh, and I think it's because of the rotation of that, uh, of the bob. And I'm not sure what to do to correct that. So I tried lowering the center of gravity to make it more stable. Uh, but you can still see the lines aren't laying right where you think they should. And some are too close together and some are too far apart. I'm still working on that. So for this setup, um, I removed the double pendulum setup. It's just a single pendulum and it's a little higher. So this is one and a half meters. Um, I put in a, I marked my bottle and I put in a fixed amount of paint. So I was pretty sure how long it was going to take. But you can really see, I didn't, I still need to fix uh, the wavy lines. Those circles should be a lot more regular than they are. But this one's interesting because as it gets to right about here, the paint starts breaking in the center there. And I got down on my hands and knees and was looking at it, and the leading edge of the paint as it was coming out of the nozzle was so close to the bottom of, was so close to the paper that it was clogging itself. And I kind of like the way that it looked where it broke like that, and it makes those kind of interesting little uh, pauses in the rhythm. And then here was another try. I tried to do it again, but I put it too close, and so the bottle just ended up scraping on the paper and stopping the whole thing. This is just a close-up of me trying to get really specific lines. And it's weird. For a while, it seems to be going pretty well. And then there will be a couple where it does the same line twice. And I just need to figure out why that's happening. And you can also see what a mess my paint is. I need something that dries faster so it doesn't just collect in one spot.